The last verse we heard today, we have seen strange things today. This is the time when you are celebrating the presence and the indwelling of the Holy Spirit in the life of each one of us. That's why you'll find the whole reading today, the five readings were read, all of them pointing towards one thing. Are you living the newness of life now? You are celebrating being a temple of the Holy Spirit or not. I will share with you a few verses from each reading. If you can open with me, please. The Pauline Epistle. Saint Paul was telling us, yes, it's time to see your newness of life. Today we are celebrating the feast of the Father's Day. And again, our great father, from whom all fatherhood comes down to us, is our heavenly father. So he's trying to tell us at the very beginning, you have to see yourself different. Yes, today we have seen strange things, but it made every one of us different. In the Pauline epistle today, we read from 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and from verse 12, St. Paul was telling us now, we have received not the spirit of the world. You are different. You received something totally unrelated to the spirit of the world but the spirit of who is from God, that we might know the things that has been freely given us by God. Then he is asking us a question. Do you know what has been given to you by God through the spirit of God? Or are you still living in this world, thinking the same way and thinking like the world in an earthly manner? Then he continued in verse 15. But he who is spiritual, who received the Spirit of God, who is working according to the Word of God, but he who is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is rightly judged by no one. For we, for who has known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of Christ. So first of all, he's telling us, your heavenly Father sent his Son, and his Son completed the whole acts of salvation, risen to the heaven. Then he sent the paraclete. Why? To give you the spirit that is not of the world. Last week we celebrated the descent of the Holy Spirit on the church. And as we shared that Saint John Chrysostom calls your own day of baptism, your own personal Pentecost to celebrate from now on I'm different from this world. From now on I receive the power of being regenerated as the son of the Most High. So we are different. We are not having the spirit of the world. Then the Catholic is telling us, you are different from the world, but you are not different from one another. In which sense? Let us read the first verse already today. Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who have obtained like precious faith with us, by the righteousness of our God and Savior Jesus Christ. In your day of baptism, you received the same sonhood of God as Paul and Peter. So he's encouraging us to those, and he's pointing towards everyone in person, to those who have obtained like precious faith with us by the righteousness of our God and Savior Jesus Christ. So we are different from the world, but all of us will receive the same gift. You received the Holy Spirit in day one. In few minutes, you received the life of Christ, the body, real body and blood of Christ. But then he's telling me and you again, there's a difference between you, but there's no difference in the gift. How do you adore your body as a temple of God? Because you received the Holy Spirit. How you adore every member of your body? Because you received the body and blood of Christ that sanctifies you. St. Cyril is telling us in the liturgy of St. Cyril that we have, we have a prayer and a cry to receive the purity of your son of whom we are going to commune. He's telling you, you have to go home receiving and believing that you had the purity of his son, Jesus Christ. Then he's asking us once more, as he continued and telling us, it's a gift from God. 
Sometimes they say, but I didn't have the same chance, chance like someone else. I was brought up in a family that you were not churchgoers, or you had their own issues with God or with the church. Then he's telling us in verse 3, as his divine power has given to us all things. It's not about your family. It's not about your wealth or poverty. It's his divine power. Just pause for a second and think of the divine power. And the divine power is giving you, without any exception, all things that pertains, pertain to life and godliness. He's telling you, you have nothing or you have no excuse to say, I don't have it. I have my own issues. Yes, but his divine power has given us everything that pertains to life and goodness. That's why this is the time of the Holy Spirit. It's the Father sends the Son, and the Son ascended into heaven and sent us the paraclete to make us different from the world, but we are all the same because his divine power has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Then St. Paul is adding once more in Ephesians 4, 7. He was telling us, for every one of us, again, without any exception, he has given us the grace according to the measure of his gift. Again, don't see yourself belittled in any sense. Don't see yourself inferior to anyone, for his divine power has given us everything that pertains to life and goodness. So, and Paul was telling us you are different because you receive the Spirit of God, not the Spirit of the world. St. Peter is telling us you all receive the same gift. How are you going to communicate and to be in synergy and to celebrate this life? Then, always, the book of Acts is telling us, showing us an example. Would you like to keep this spirit? Would you like to keep this spirit always not quenched and not grieved is one major condition. It's your humility. In the book of Acts, today we read from Acts chapter 14, there was a man who was born crippled from his mother's womb. St. Paul prayed for him, and this man was healed, and people were amazed. Exactly like the miracle we read it in Luke chapter 5. But then, in verse 13, he says, Then the priest of Zeus, whose temple was in front of their city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates, intending to sacrifice with the multitudes. But when the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard this, they tore their clothes and ran in among the multitude, crying out and saying, Men, why are you doing these things? We are also men with the same nature as you, and preached you that you should turn from this, use these things to the living God. It's very easy to accept honor, but sometimes when we accept honor, we we'll lose the great gift. St. Paul and Barnabas refused to receive honor that is not theirs. They give all glory to God. We are men exactly the same nature like you. You are not God's. We have been sanctified. We received the Spirit who made us different from the world, received the spirit of power and became real temples of the Holy Spirit, but in humility, we accept it. It's not, we are proud that we have done some, something from ourselves. Why again? For his divine power has given us everything that pertains to life and goodness. So St. Paul was saying, us, you are different. You receive the spirit that is not of the world. It's the spirit of God. St. Peter is telling us, all of you receive the same gift his divine power has given us all things that pertain to life and goodness. St. Paul and St. Barnabas are telling us it's time to humble yourself. You have all the gifts, but they are not active in your life because you are relying on your own uh, bride. It's time to rely only on his own strength. Then finally, the gospel today or even the psalm was telling us, I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me, but I have trusted in your mercy. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. Because salvation in our understanding as Orthodox, it's a process. You started from day one since you are baptized, and now every day 
you ask yourself, am I different from the world? Am I enjoying the fullness of the power of, his, of the Holy Spirit? And then I see myself receiving all gifts for his divine power has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Then I check on myself. Am I keeping my heart and my mind humble enough to be able to sustain and to, to, to keep this power of the Holy Spirit in me or not? That's why my heart shall rejoice in your salvation. We are the children of the Most High. When we read the, uh, the miracle of this man who was paralyzed, again, the Lord is telling us, it's time to see that you are in relation with the Trinitarian God. What does it mean? The Father sent his Son, and then the Son completed the acts of salvation, ascended into heaven, and sent the Holy Spirit through whom we are able to say, Abba, Father. That's why every single teaching in the church is telling us every gift is from the Father, by the Son, through the Holy Spirit. This is the words of Saint Athanasius and repeated many times by Saint Cyril of Alexandria. Every single gift is from the Father, by the Son, and through the Holy Spirit. Then we heard it today from the Lord telling this man, your sins are forgiven. Then you are wondering, and even people there were wondering, how come a man for, in their own eyes can forgive sins? But St. Cyril the Great, in his commentary in the Gospel of St. Luke, was telling us he did it to empower the church. What does it mean? When you repent and you go to your father of confession and you, you confess your sins, you hear the same thing, God absolve you, your sins are forgiven. Christ did it to hand it over to the church. But again, how many of us are enjoying the power of the miracle? It's not about healing a sick man. It's about receiving the fullness of the forgiveness. Please check with yourself. We spoke about the confession a lot, but unfortunately still many feel it's an occasional event every few years. It's a life of repentance and confession. To be able, when I shout, and say, our Father, I am in His Son. I am filled with His Spirit. That's why in the coming few minutes, the church is encouraging us, it's not a normal liturgy. Every liturgy is a new encounter to enjoy the fatherhood of God, being in the Son and filled and refilled with His Holy Spirit. May the glory of Lord Jesus Christ be with you from now and forever and ever. Amen. Oni